<clears throat> Ooh, we are getting crazy in our Super Home Surplus Kitchen. Executive Chef J.R. Cooper, he is from a new restaurant called Henley that's going to be opening up very soon in Midtown. So amidst his chaos, we brought him here. Yeah, because you don't have anything better to do, RJ, than come and cook with us, right? <laughs> this is the only kitchen I've been in in like a month. No, it's great. We're it's, being built. We're excited to have you here. You Thank won you. the James Beard Award. It's so amazing. And you're making something for us. You said some of this is you might be able to find in your own yard. Well, some of it you can because, uh, you know, my children, uh, that taught them how to forge. And they walked through Nashville a couple of weeks ago. All they were pulling is all the wild hanging bulbs out of the ground. It's like Hansel and Gretel. Like, exactly. It's, 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 it's like a nursery rhyme living. You raise your kids to forage. It's like, so don't amazing. go to the fast food restaurants. Just forge in the ground and have, have some lunch. It'll be, it'll be great. It's through Nashville. So we've got some good stuff happening. Where do we need to start? We have a lot of product from Nashville, okay. which is great. We have wild ramps that are forged in, in, in the mountains, of course. I got these wild lemons that are... Uh, from Tennessee that are so cool and, wow. and brilliant. Wild lemons and, and ramps are like an onion family. It right. is. Uh, goat milk yogurt. So we're gonna okay. start this really simple soup. Okay. You're talking about the masters, you should do this tomorrow. Oh, good. Cucumber, call. ramps, a uh, little flat leaf parsley, and goat yogurt. Oh, Instead look of, at you. This is like a smoothie, you said, kind of. It, it, it's I'm a smoothie. It. It's a As smoothie. my children say, it's a smoothie. It's a smoothie, Dad. Okay, here we go, and on go. Yes, pulse. Do it. Yay! And of course, you know, the magic of uh, television, we already have some that too, so. <laughs> Does that really work out That's that great. well? We'll just Here's use it. this. Done. So that'll be blend. So Four. now we have. This is what it looks like. Boom. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's great. All comes so, together. Look at that. So then we have all these beautiful garnishes. Uh, okay. Some pickled wild trout from Sunburst Farm. Is it, this is this? Which is right here. We could, you know, put some of that in there. Then we have this cucumber salad. Can we get it? Can we Focus on this bowl for a second. I need you to identify this because I'm not a James Beard award winning person. <laughs> Trout. Trout. These are preserved wild lemons, the rinds. So you did it in salt and preserved them? Yes. Beautiful. Wild ramps that have been pickled. What is wow. happening? That's right. gorgeous. Wow. Then I stopped at the my, my, my favorite little you know herb farm in town. These are rye croutons. <gasps> I'm so right. excited about Look what's happening I'm, right I'm now. I'm a texture feed. Right? Where and did I like you to rip this? them. Oh my you rip them and you just saute them in, in olive oil, or you fry fry them right off in olive oil. They're Tell fantastic. Tell us what the menu is going to be like at the new restaurant. Small plates, okay. uh, hyper local foods, uh, creative dishes like we have now, some communal dining because we have to do that, and that's the way I like to dine now. Yeah. Then we have this little secret room called the Snooker, where you know I owned a restaurant called Rogue Twenty Four in, in D.C., which was twenty four courses, super modernist cuisine. Yeah. It's like going to the best jam band show ever because you don't know what's coming up next <laughs> yes. and we just riff and that's what we're going to do in the back and in the snooker, in the in the snooker, snooker, snooker room? room yeah and we have this little secret table in the kitchen too for really? four people you can sit in the kitchen yes <laughs> Carol just got a Christmas present. Did you see her face? I have to say, I think so few places do that, and that's where so much magic happens and oh, craziness. And I love everything. It keeps that's my mouth right from uh, yes. being being very uh, very very nice. So, ladies, Ooh. why don't you try this? Okay, I so will do we, it. We, we garnish it with like oh, a you did have two spoons, bronze so fennel. This this uh, citrus lace here. Uh, red vein sorrel. There's some radish sprouts. This uh, beautiful opal basil. And nasturtiums. It's fantastic. Oh my I word. feel like I'll be smarter if I come to your restaurant. I'm going to learn this so much is more. This so good. But this, you gotta, what are you topping it with? This is the, yes. the oil from, from the May wild I? lemon. You had to take what? a little bit. <laughs> Just mm. a little bit. Okay. All of this. Yes. Yes to That's all of so the above. Intense. Now, you said it's hyper local. Does that mean your kids are going to be foraging for your ingredients in I your hope restaurant? So. I hope so. They keep doing They got to work somehow. It's, it's Put them great. To work. May I? You want to bite? Yes, I it's do. It's easier than fishing. At least you actually catch stuff when you're foraging. I love you. All right. <laughs> look I think out. I want a lesson. The Henley is going to be in Midtown opening this spring, 21st Avenue South. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Please come back and see us. I would love to. You're yes, absolutely. magical.